Okay, so when we had left off in the third video, we had just kind of wired up this gallery view here to display some images that we have in local storage. And we have a pointer to those in our SQL database, so that's how we're actually serving the images up. So what I'd like to do is to go ahead and wrap these in links so that when we click on them, we can then be taken over to a detail view where we can see a larger version of the image as well as its description and perhaps its tags as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, so here's our layout. And actually while we're here in this layout page that I have open, so this is our, our layout.cshtml file. And if you need to find that again, that is once again in our shared directory inside of our views in our web project here. And while I have this open, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and actually create a link here in the nav bar to an upload page, which of course we haven't created yet, but it will serve as kind of a placeholder for that. And we might as well add it while we're here in the layout. So directly after this div of class nav bar header, where we have the title of our application, I'm gonna go ahead and create another div and we're gonna just give it a navbar collapse, collapse. And then we're gonna create an unordered list here with just a single item for now, but we'll go ahead and give the UL a class of nav and then this navbar nav class as well. And then here we'll just have upload and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this in some tag helpers here. So this will be the ASP controller. And if you recall, the controllers that we currently have are just the gallery controller and the home controller. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create an image controller that will then have an upload action. So we'll say ASP action is equal to upload. And yeah, we just need upload to be inside of this anchor tag. and the list element should wrap the anchor tag. Since there's only one of them here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out a separate line. Then if we take a look at the page and refresh it, we should now see this upload link, which currently leads nowhere because we don't have an image controller or an upload action. Okay, so now let's get back to the task of creating links around each of the images that appear in our gallery and then having those take us over to a detailed view. So for that, we need to go into our views and then the gallery, our index view here. And you can see that we have this for each where we're iterating over the collection of images that's on our view model. And we're currently just putting out this div of class gallery image container. And then we have a container for the image itself where we're setting the background image URL equal to the URL property that's on any particular image. And so, Quite simply here, I can just create another tag helper. And we're gonna use the gallery controller in this case. We could use the image controller as well and have like an image slash detail action. I don't mind putting this in the gallery controller. We have a pretty minimal application as it is. So then we'll say ASP action is equal to detail. And then we are going to need to tell the controller action which image in our collection to display on the detail page. So what we can do is just go ahead and say ASP route ID is equal to at image dot ID. Okay, so if we just save that and then if I go refresh the page here, you can see now that these are clickable elements. And if you take a look down and at the, uh, the bottom of your browser where these are leading, you can now see that they will be um, corresponding to the ID that's on each of these images. So if I click it, you know, we're currently getting taken nowhere because we need to go ahead and create this action now. So we're gonna go back and I'll minimize the browser. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the server. And I'm gonna make a quick commit. So I'll bring this over. And now I'll mention this also in the comments below, but between the third video and this video, I had done a recording and then I lost some of the video files and so I had to kind of work backwards. And so I'm on a separate branch here uh, because I had been a little bit further along in the code. Um, so that's why this is on a different branch here and why you don't see master. 
In any case, just a minor note in case you're wondering. So we can go ahead and say we added these and we can commit add upload link to navbar links around gallery images. And we'll just go ahead and push those. Okay. So now let's go into our gallery controller. And as you recall, we have this image service that we have injected into our controller. This allows us to grab the images. We can also use it to grab an instance of an image, you know, a particular image by its ID, which is exactly what we'll do for our detail view. So currently we have this index action. Let's go ahead and create a, an action, I action result detail. And we'll have an int ID, which will be the ID that corresponds to the, the image that we want to visit. And so we'll go ahead and store a reference to that image in a variable here. So we'll just call it the image and we can invoke our image service to get by ID, the ID that we pass this detail method. And so you can see that this is going to pull back an instance of one of our gallery image objects. And we're just gonna push that into a view model. We could pass the entity object itself um, sort of, you know, as a domain model to this page, but I like to make uh, view models for each of my pages. So we'll say that the model is equal to a new gallery detail model and let's go ahead and actually create this model. So this again is a view model and it's gonna be here in our web project in the models namespace and there are our models folder here. So I'm gonna right click and just simply add a new class. Gallery detail model. And what we'll do is this is essentially for now, um, just for this simple app here, really going to map one to one to our domain model. <clears throat> so we'll have an ID property that we need. And something that someone has mentioned in the comments recently, which is, um, you know, kind of nice if, if you prefer to use it, it's a little shortcut here where you can type prop. Um, and it's a code snippet um, in Visual Studio. If you're coding in, in Visual Studio, then if I hit tab twice here, then this kind of scaffolds out a, a simple property for us here. Um, I'm using Vim, and so it's uh, just about as fast, or at least as comfortable for me to just type it or to copy and paste a bunch of properties at once too. So. Um, you know, whatever suits your personal preference, but just to know, um, just a little code snippet that you may want to be aware of, particularly if you are building larger POCO classes out. So we'll go ahead and create the um, title property for our image. And we can also create like a list of strings for the image tags. And for that, we need to go ahead and bring in collections. All right, so if we just recall the actual image model in our data project here, where we actually specify the entity model gallery image, we also have a created on, we have this uh, you know innumerable collection of image tags. In our case, um, if we have F12 here, we can see that a tag is just an ID and a description. For our view model, the tags for, you know, as far as the viewer is concerned, are just, strings and so we're just going to simplify that in our view model um, when when the user clicks on the clicks on the image detail view they can just see a list of strings um, regarding the image tags okay and the url here is the url um, which represents the path on disk whether locally or remotely to the image itself so let's go back to our view model that we, we were just working on and i think i will also here include the date time for the created and of course the URL. So this maps, as I said, almost one-to-one -to, -one to our entity model. 
I just prefer to keep it separate just because we're using view models in other places in the application and I, I just tend to like to keep my entity models separate and use them strictly for the purpose of designing the overall architecture for the application. And then things like our, our view models basically consume some of their properties and then can maybe be any number of different combination of of properties on any number of those models. But if you're building something extremely simple, which in fact we are, um, then you may even just consider using the entity models here in the view. Okay, so let's head back into our gallery controller. And so now let's populate our model. So the ID will clearly be the image ID. The title will be the image title created on likewise. Actually, I caught it created in the entity model, that's fine. URL is equal to image.url. And then for our tags, so what we have here on our view model again is a collection of strings, or more specifically, a list of strings. But the tags that are on our image object are actually a collection of our tag model. So this image tag entity model. And so what we can do is just simply call like select here. And we'll say like t dot description dot to list. And so we could put this in a separate method if we want to kind of clean up um, the construction of this view model. Um, but it's pretty simple. Um, so we're just basically getting all of the descriptions for each of the images that are in this tags collection and then dumping them into a list and then setting the tags property on our detail model to that list. So it's pretty straightforward. So we can just go ahead and return the model to our view and I'll just fix my typo here. So this is an extremely simple action result, basically just getting an image by ID from our database by means of our image service that we've injected into this controller, and then mapping all the properties that we get back from that image from our database onto properties that we define in this specific view model. So now what we need to do is to go ahead and create a corresponding view for this. So in our views folder here, under gallery, we're going to go ahead and create a new view. And I like to do this uh, manually. So we'll just do MVC view page here. And this we have to call detail. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. And we'll define our model. As our gallery detail model that we just created. And remember that our views get rendered inside of our layout. So if we revisit our layout here and we see this render body method, this razor method that's getting called here inside of this container body content. So anything, um, just as a reminder here, anything that we're creating in our detail view here is already getting rendered in our view directly here. Okay, so back in our detail view, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a div of class container body content again this could could and may very well already be on the outside of, of our view but um, just because I recall using it here on the index page will just be consistent I'm gonna go ahead and create a row and now we just need to display our image you know the, a large version of this image on the page so I'm going to create a CSS class here called image detail container, which we have yet to define, but we will. And then we have a div of class image detail. And here's where we'll actually put an image tag. So the image tag will be the URL on the model. And then we can also specify alternate text here with auth at model.title. And so that way when the user hovers the mouse over the image, they get this alternate text, which will correspond to the title. Okay, and then I'll create another row here, div class row. And we'll have a span where we can say title 
model.title again. And then below it here, we'll have a, a second span where we can say uploaded. And here we'll have our model that created on. Okay, and then I'm just gonna have a final row here. And here I'm just gonna provide a link back to the gallery. So we'll style it as a button and we can use Bootstrap's uh, button primary. ASP controller is equal to gallery. ASP action is equal to index. And we can just say back to gallery. Okay, and I'll create custom CSS class here called, let's see, just controls maybe. And then here we'll have one called um, image metadata or something. Maybe image detail meta. Okay, so with that, let's just go ahead and fire up the server and check it out. All right, so if we click on an image, looks like we are hitting something in our code here and we're getting a null reference exception here. Let's see where we're getting that. So image.tags is null. Our URL is populated, created, title, and ID are all populated, but our image tags are null. So let's go ahead and fix that. So what we need to do, first of all, we need to stop the server, but then we need to head into our image service. And before we do that, I'm also gonna clean up these usings. Okay, so now we need to head into our image service, which is def which implements this interface, but if you just F12 here, you'll just be taken to um, the interface that our service implements. So we need to head into our service project and then click image service here. Okay, so what I need to do is to actually call include here when we find this image. So what's happening is um, that this image is getting found, but its navigation property tags is not actually getting populated. And so we need to explicitly include those tags here in our query. So rather than find by ID, what I'm simply going to do here is actually return get all, and then I'll say where the image image did dot ID is equal to this ID, and then we can call first. And so what this is doing is it's just reusing this get all method here that we have already, where we already have this include called, otherwise we'd just be repeating some code here, where the image ID is equal to the ID that we pass, the get.id method, and then just grabbing the first from that collection. So even though uh, there's only one ID in our database, which corresponds to the ID that we would pass here because it's a primary key, um, where is always going to return a collection of objects. And so since we need this method to return an instance of a gallery image and not a collection of it, we just call first and grab the only element in that collection. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the server again. All right, so we'll click on an image. And so yeah, this is looking a little bit better already. So I'll leave it to you if you'd like to do some additional styling on this page. Um, but for now, we can confirm that functionally, it does appear to be working. Okay, and I had to reload some styles here, so sorry about that. Okay, and um, sorry about that, I just had to reload some of my CSS styles here. Um, so if you've been following along since the beginning of this series, then your image gallery should be styled like this as well with each of these images inside a uh, container, if you will, with this uh, drop shadow. So likewise, the style on your gallery detail page may look something more like this. As I said, you may want to add some additional styles here just to clean things up. In any case, I think something that might be more interesting is actually starting to wire up our upload page. So in the next video, we will create an upload view here and actually start working on getting our images hosted on Azure Storage.